I'm sorry I freaked out before. Don't be. Don't be sorry. I shouldn't have given you such a hard time about the secret thing. And I know how much you're risking being with me. Um, it's worth the risk. School board? Yes, everything's fine. Mark, I said I'm not in the mood. I'd miss you too, Miss Porter. Oh no, I went back to my maiden name a few years ago after the divorce was finalized. Regina never talked about anyone who would send something like this. Certainly no one from a random apartment building in Connecticut. Have you ever thought about how Regina Crane got a hold of that necklace? Did Dad know her? Regina, did they ever meet? What you're implying is disgusting. This witness saw you walk out on the dock and throw something into the pond. We searched the pond and found this. I know. How much you're risking being with me? It's worth the risk. And what is the truth? I killed Regina Crane. What are you thinking? My mother just confess to the murder of your best friend. I'm not exactly sure what to think right now. What about you? How are you doing? We're gonna get through this, okay? It's late. I'll have an officer drive you and Lacey home. I'm not leaving. Me neither. Lead the way, Chief Masterson. I just can't believe my mom would hurt somebody. Me either. But we have to consider that she's telling the truth. Especially if Chief Masterson still thinks you're guilty. <laughs> God, I'm gonna be living with a cop who thinks I'm a psychopathic murderer. It's like the setup for a really, really disturbing sitcom. It's certainly gonna make it harder to keep us a secret from Joe. We could just tell her, you know. What, you don't feel a little bit guilty keeping this from her? Why should I feel guilty? I do. Joe's my best friend, and you guys are doing pretty well. I know, but it's not like we're suddenly BFFs again. What? I'm sure there's things she wouldn't tell me. I guess. But it just sucks. We can't even act like we're together, even in front of Joe. And it is a constant challenge for me to keep my hands off you. Thanks. But I'm sure you can manage. I don't know. All right, all right. <laughs> Ready? You haven't answered my question. Are we going to tell Chief Masterson? Yeah. I think it's time we put all our cards on the table. So this was postmarked... Two days before Regina died, yeah. I don't believe Karen would do all this. Send Regina threatening letters doesn't make sense. We're not saying that my mother did any of this. But someone did. Someone other than Denny. I can't believe you guys kept all this from me. That's my fault, Chief Masterson. Denny and Joe wanted to tell you, but I was worried if people found out, if Regina's mother found out about it. I'm sorry, I should have told you. Cut Lacey a break, Dad. I'm not happy with you either. Fine, then be mad at me. But Lacey was just trying to be a good friend. Look, you told me to tell you everything that I know. Well, this is everything. You realize this is only temporary, right, Danny? But if you charge Mrs. Desai, Danny will have to stay here longer, right? Where else can he go? Legally, he has to go live with his next of kin. What next of kin? But you mean my grandmother. In Arizona. You said...
said you wanted me to be happy, right? Well, I'm not gonna be happy if I have to move to Arizona and leave Joe and... Look, Lacey and I, it's becoming a little bit more... Arizona's better than prison.